Today we're taking a look at the Tesla stock, ticker symbol Tesla, in anticipation of the upcoming Thursday, July 27, 2023 trading day. Welcome back to Capital Consultant, let's dive right into it. Oh and don't forget to subscribe, and to click the bell icon, to get notified as soon as these videos are released so that you have more time to plan out your trades, as we provide these stock analysis videos on a daily basis after market close. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on this stock, heading into the upcoming trading day, after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like access to our daily watch lists, stock picks, option picks, and more, then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Now let's get started. Let's first begin with a brief overview and analysis of the stock in a general sense, and then following that, we will delve deeper into the stock's specific performance and action focusing primarily on the upcoming trading day. On Wednesday, July 26, 2023, the Tesla stock commenced trading at $263.25 and concluded at $264.35. Throughout the day, the stock price decreased by 0.35%, fluctuating from $265.28 to $264.35. Trading activity saw 95.1 million shares exchanged, equivalent to approximately $25.17 billion. The stock experienced a trading range between $261.75 as the lowest point and $268.04 as the highest point on the last trading day. Notably, this stock's 52-week high stands at $314.67, while its 52-week low rests at $101.81. When compared to the previous trading day, there were 16 million shares traded, which is a good indication as the stock price decreased. Considering its risk level, this stock is categorized as very steady, carrying a very small chance of distress. You should also know that this stock responds to the market. Shares have an ongoing investigation being conducted by the California Attorney General's Office regarding the safety of autopilot, Tesla's suite of advanced driver assistance systems, and false advertising complaints. However, Tesla also received positive feedback from Gary Black, future fund managing partner, on its Cybertruck. These mixed sentiments could suggest some volatility in Tesla's performance. In Tesla, insiders are showing a highly negative trend as they have been selling more shares than they are buying. Over the last 100 trades, 611.23 thousand shares were purchased, while a significant 2.43 million shares were sold. The latest trade occurred 20 days ago, where Taneja Vibe of sold 4,000 shares. Overall, insiders are consistently selling more stocks than they are purchasing. While various factors might contribute to this behavior, it is generally considered a negative signal. The short-term moving average for Tesla stock indicates a sell signal, while the long-term average suggests a buy signal. However, due to the short-term average being higher than the long-term average, an overall buy signal is observed, resulting in a positive stock forecast. If the short-term average is breached upwards, it will trigger a buy signal, whereas a downward breach of the long-term average will signal a sell. Additionally, there have been some negative signals issued, which could potentially impact the near short-term progress of the stock. The Tesla stock has a mild bullish three-day candlestick pattern. There are no major emerging candlestick patterns on the chart as of the making of this video. Considering the current overall short-term trend, it is anticipated that there will be a rise in the stock price. As of the last trading day, the most recent daily candle on the chart is red. This indicates that the sellers, or in other words, the bears, dominated the trading session. The session was predominantly bearish, characterized by a trading volume of 95.1 million. This volume is 44% less compared to the average volume typically observed for Tesla, which stands at 137.1 million. The stock is currently trading within the upper range of yearly prices. Tesla is trading below its 5-day exponential moving average and below its 5-day simple moving average. It's trading below both its 10, and 20-day exponential moving averages and simple moving averages. 
while it's trading above its 50, 100, and 200 day exponential moving averages and simple moving averages. This is a good sign for the stock's trend. Now moving on to the daily technical side of things, this is what we can conclude. The average true range indicator is showing less volatility. The average directional index and relative strength index indicators are both neutral. The MACD indicator is positive. While the stochastic, rate of change, Williams percent range, commodity channel index, and ultimate oscillator indicators are all negative. At present, multiple technical indicators are aligning towards a negative signal, indicating a sell for the stock. However, it's important to recognize that relying solely on these technical indicators may not yield substantial outcomes. Let's now delve into the analysis and prediction of Tesla's price movement for the upcoming trading day, Thursday, July 27, 2023. Bear in mind that if the stock price is below $264.71, there is a higher likelihood of a downside potential. Conversely, if the stock price is trading above $264.71, the possibility of an upside movement is higher. Based on the closing price of the last trading day, the current pivot point for this stock is located at the $264.71 level. Additionally, it has support at the $261.39, $258.42, and $255.1 levels and resistance at the $267.68, $271, and $273.97 levels. Now, I will outline a few potential Tesla stock trades for the upcoming trading day, two bullish trades and two bearish trades. Feel free to explore other similar trades based on the information provided in this video thus far, depending on your bullish or bearish sentiment towards this stock. Remember that when a support level is breached, it often transforms into a resistance level. Similarly when a resistance level is surpassed, it tends to act as a support level. For the bullish trade, consider opening a long position if within the first 30 minutes of trading, the stock continues to respect the $261.39 level as a support. Aim to enter the trade as close as possible to that support level, keeping in mind that this would be a short-term trade. Now bulls, if you're looking to trade Tesla, then you're obviously looking to take profit during the day, and so my recommendation for taking profit on this first bullish trade, would be starting to do so somewhere near the resistance level of $267.68. The second bullish trade involves monitoring whether the $267.68 resistance level is broken at least 30 minutes after the market opens and then holds as a support level for a considerable period. This scenario suggests a short-term bullish outlook, and in this case, consider taking a long position as close as possible to the new $267.68 support level. When it comes to taking profits on the second bullish trade, consider doing so around the next resistance level of $271. It is advisable to close your position in small percentage increments as the stock progresses, rather than closing it entirely in one go. Incremental closures in 25% increments are recommended. Now, for the bearish trade, if the stock continues to respect the $267.68 level as a resistance after at least 30 minutes of the market opening, it may be suitable for opening or adding to a short trade position near that resistance level. Keep in mind that this would be short-term trade. Now bears, if you're looking to trade Tesla, then you're obviously going to be looking to take profit during the day, and so my recommendation for taking profit on this first bearish trade would be starting to do so somewhere around the $261.39 support level. In the second bearish trade, monitor if the $261.39 support level is broken at least 30 minutes after the market opens and then holds as a resistance level for a substantial duration. This scenario implies a short-term bearish outlook. In this case consider taking a short trade position as close as possible to the new $261.39 resistance level. For taking profits on the second bearish trade, consider doing so around the next support level of $258.42.
It is also advisable to close your position in small percentage increments as the stock moves, rather than closing it entirely all at once. As mentioned previously, incremental closures in 25% increments are recommended. I want to emphasize the importance of taking profits near the target levels provided for all these trades, as it is crucial for ensuring profitability. These trades are short-term with a high probability of profit, and when executed correctly, they can accumulate significant gains. Remember to implement this strategy effectively to maximize your results. Whether you choose to adopt a bullish, bearish, or even a combination of both approaches for this stock, I wish you the best of luck with your trades. We value your feedback and encourage you to share your thoughts on this analysis. Feel free to leave a comment below and let us know your perspective. That's all for now, so if you have any other stocks you'd like analyzed, then leave a comment down below with the stocks you'd like analyzed, subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can.